Hello and welcome to the Yeah Maybe Podcast, the number one podcast on Apple Spotify. From me to you and you to me, have a great day, yes sir. Oh, Lee has some notes for episode 18. Am I allowed to read them? No. Don't touch my notes. I didn't touch them. This my stapler. Don't touch my stapler. It's blaring on my face. Boom. Not mine. Is audio good? Audio is always good, Lee. Not always. Look how many cups we have. Check this out. I showed him. God, I got blinded. Right here. Ah. I can have sunglasses on right now, I think. Are you ready to film a podcast? Mm Mm-hmm. Look, we're the same height. Did you shrink? No, I'm the same as I've always been. Lee's wearing chef pants. Life hack, buy chef pants. Somebody's here. Zuko's yelling for me. Shame, 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 shame. Somebody's here. Uh. Hi, welcome to the Yeah, Maybe podcast. What Did you want to intro it? I just wasn't ready. What? It feels like you've been kind of starting without Count me. me in. Count you in. You count me in. Three, two, one, go. Hi, welcome to the Yeah, Maybe podcast. My name's Lee, and this is Jimmy James. Hello, everybody. We're happy to have you. It is episode 18, and we feel like this is probably one of our most exciting episodes. We haven't recorded it yet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, we haven't recorded it yet, so I don't know yet. Yeah. It's number 18 out of 18. Right. Making it our best one yet? No, the last one was our best one. Why? Because it was chaotic? Was it? I thought it was just funny. We love when people like our video. It makes us notice our viewers. What was that? Nothing. Like the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Leave a comment. What should they say? If I were leaving a comment, I would say something along the lines of Good willy jilly. Oh gosh, this is a good podcast. And then if I made it to this point in the podcast, which you're pretty far in, and if you comment now, we'll know you made it this far. I would comment my favorite type of elephant. Elephant. So, I mean, it's up to you, but. Is I would. It, is it? Yeah, I mean, we can't make them comment. Some people don't even uh, watch us on YouTube. They just listen. Can I just say something real Isn't quick? Isn't that wild? Yeah, that's wild. Can I talk? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things is when somebody comments and they say, Look, I never comment on anything. But you guys have asked me for so many comments. And here I am. Those are my favorite comments. James, do you... Do you think we beg for comments? I don't think we beg. We just tell them. Do you think we should? Please comment down below. For every comment, we get $10. I think my favorite type of asking for a comment is a threat. If you don't comment down below, I'll quit. Same. (gasps) You can't quit. Why not? They need you. Like uh, one person can quit and I decided first. I mean, what's cool about me is I have my own YouTube channel. So even if I quit, I'd still kind of be around where you would kind of be gone. No, I have my own YouTube channel too. Do you use it, bud? Well, I use that account to watch things on YouTube, but we have to get started on the day. Sure. We have a lot to talk about. Tell them, Lee. We have plans like we always do and we're going to get right into it. Peaks and pits. You want to do peaks and pits or you want to skip it? Skip it. Skip it. <laughs> On to the next no. segment. <laughs> We're going to do peaks and pits. 
You should go first, though, because I haven't even thought about it. Okay. I have two pits, two peaks, making four total. First pit, James was sick. He's still not 100%. Where, what percentage would you say you're at? Probably 100. I would say 90. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know. It depends how today goes. Yeah. Um, I don't like watching James be sick because he wants to do so much and then he gets really tired and then he's like, well, what do I do? Cause I really want to do stuff, but I don't know if I can, I'll try. And then it just doesn't work out and it's sad to watch. Um, also he's had some brain fog that makes it hard for him c- to communicate, but that's really all he wants to do all day is to communicate. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of, hey, Lee, have you heard of, um, well, I would, it, uh, never oh, mind. Uh, <laughs> and I'll be sitting up in my studio or my room and James will be downstairs doing, I don't, I don't know what he gets into, but the boy sighs. I'm just holding it together. Every minute. I learned about this on Demon Slayer. It's called con- sin- total concentration breathing. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? So he sighs every minute so he can be powerful, just like Demon Slayer. Just like his name's Demon Slayer. My second pit is I went to this restaurant called Pep and Dolores that I've been wanting to go to for a while. It's a local Eatery. Italian restaurant, and everyone loves it. Everyone speaks so highly of it. The food was really good, but they bring out these little cookies at the end of your meal for free. And they're just like hard pieces of cookie that are about yay big, too crunchy, and they just taste like it's flour and almond extract. They give you two cookies. It's honestly, yeah, I couldn't eat all my cookies because they were so bad. I only ate a bite. Yeah. The, The meal ruiners. The, James said they taste like fragrance, which I get. It's like when you put too much of a floral thing into baked goods, or it feels like you're just eating soap. Yeah, crunchy, it hard tastes like soap. soap. And they give them to everyone for mm-hmm. every meal. It's just crazy. It was a pit just because the cookie tasted bad, but... Yeah, I was confused at first. I was like, really? You didn't like it? <laughs> but it's just the cookie. But it was kind of fun to talk about and believe that they actually handed those out for free as like, hey, a parting gift. Have this really gross cookie. And to be fair, we had four people at our table and no one at the table likes them. Nobody at the restaurant likes them. Someone has to. No. The owner. It's like a huge prank on every customer that comes in. Gets you talking. It gets you talking. Um, That's genius. I got two peaks. Peaks. Okay, what are they? I've been climbing a lot. I got back into climbing. I realized that yesterday was my fifth day in a row climbing. Wow. My skin feels like it's going to fall off. Me and Lee are actually working on becoming really good climbers. My second peak is we took Gus to a dog park yesterday for the first time. It was a little dog park. Mm. There were like three or four dogs there at a time. And he had so much fun. He did. He sure did. Will you put a picture of him in the podcast? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. (laughs) If I'm lucky. Anyways, it was just really fun to watch him play with dogs and actually be able to have some fun because he doesn't get to do that. Yeah. And he played very nice. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't have to. He visually looked like he was having more fun than any of the dogs at the dog park, I think. Yeah. Yeah. He had so much fun. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that happened for him. Me too. Okay, you go. My pit? Mm-hmm. Um, Gus keeps peeing inside. <laughs> mm. He's done it like a couple times now. Mm-hmm. And there's no rhyme or reason, really. Except for, I don't know. Sometimes he gets excited, but then sometimes he just starts peeing. I don't get it. I think he was tr- potty training and then he got here and he was pretty much potty trained. So we kind of stopped the training. And then as that's faded, he's kind of just reverted back because we haven't been enforcing it. Yeah. But that's my pit. My peak is I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to feel like me again. Mm-hmm. Who and did you feel like before? I don't know. Weak James. 
Mm, I thought you would have a different name or something. Different no, persona. It's no, like I'm still me. Like my, I feel like my old self now. But younger. <laughs> <laughs> I feel young again. I feel young. Uh, my birthday is coming up, so that's cool. My birthday's coming up too. Then. I can't tell anybody though when it is, cause then they'll know my sign. And I'm not ready for that yet. Are we going to do a birthday episode for you? Sure. Can there be cake? Do you know what day of the month it falls on? Tuesday. Really? I don't know. Don't say what day it falls I on. Know. I see what day it falls on. That's pretty good though. This is, this is dope. <laughs> I wonder if I should do something. What do you mean? Like a well, party? I was, was going to say something that I guess I can say it. It's on a weekend. I like how secretive you're being about it. I can't let people know. Although on one of the dating apps, I have my birthday on it. If you're in the Cincinnati area, get on there. Yeah. It has to be Bumble. Why? Your birthday doesn't really go on other ones unless like you choose to. I type it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let the people know Mm -hmm. Two truths and a lie Your birthday (laughs) Your birthplace Well I put my birthday I'm a dragon For one prompt My social for another And then my credit card That's sick It says about me I'm like this is about me Like that's really sick (laughs) That was my peak though Wait Feeling better Yeah I was like what was it Cool You want to move to our next next segment what is it when we plan this out we're gonna do a snack taste test yeah my friend natasha aka sad shrimp sent me a bunch of snacks from singapore and we're gonna try them i love snacks james is very excited about this lee doesn't know how to respond to fun things (laughs) but i do and i love snacks There's two of some things and one of other things. This is going to be my favorite podcast. Okay. There's no candy, though. These might be candy. Which one do you want to start with? This one that has a baby on it. Okay, these are called Popo. Should I open this one or we just open one? We'll just share. (sighs) Um, Sweet and spicy Maruku. Here, let me see it. I'm sorry if I say anything wrong because i can't read do you want me to read it yeah where did you read okay this is a sweet and spicy maraca (laughs) maraca (laughs) it says maruku parisa padesmini okay go ahead and open it okay i love snacks wait 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 we have to eat it at the same time they look like frito lays they look like gummy worms. No, they don't. <gasps> look at it in the light. The inside, the center is going to be crunchier. Okay. Can you see that? Are you ready? Yeah. Mmm, it's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> they have the texture of the little um, little rods and Chex Mix. It's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Mm, I love snacks. You want me to describe it? I know this tastes sweet and spicy, but I'm I think I'm only getting sweet. Does this taste spicy? Yes, yeah, it's sweet and spicy. I like them though. It lets people know the texture. You can hear the texture in them. Do you want to say anything about these? Did you hear that one? Yeah, let me say something about these. Um, Are you just going to eat the whole bag? Well, we have to finish it. (laughs) If I were to say something about these, (laughs) what would it be? It would be... I think if I were to say something about these, I would say there's zero spice. They are sweet. The texture is less than crunchy. But not fluffy. Mm-hmm. It's in between. Definitely something that could get stuck in a molar. Wow, look at me. I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. Huh? <laughs> you want me to close that? No, no. I can... No, no. 
I'll just be over here. But they're good. I can't really describe anything else though. There's not a lot of flavor. It's kind of savory sweet. Yeah. I no, wouldn't say spicy. No sweet. spicy. I like spicy food. I hope this is spicy. Okay, we'll do this one next. This one's called Ken. It's a chicken flavored snack. It has a little chicken on it. Whoa! Did you see the shape on that baddie? So it's like a ridged little stick. But that's it's orange. poofy inside. It's I, got a little bit of air bubble in it. This isn't what I thought it'd be like. It's not crunchy. It gave me the sense that it would be crunchy. And then it, it just kind of... It was like a crunchy leaf on the sidewalk that you want to crunch and you step on it and then you're like, oh, it didn't crunch. Eat three at a time. Okay. You have to eat a couple at a time. Okay. I think this is more one of those handful foods. Which country has the best snacks? I think that's just personal preference. Which one though? These are a little bit spicy, but otherwise I don't get a lot of flavor. Do you? No. Also chicken flavor i don't get that i don't either but to be honest with you i really couldn't describe chicken flavor for you yeah chicken flavor is just like a savory salt, salty salt yeah yeah i like chicken though i like the first ones better me too next we have pick fine you might say think it says pick five but it doesn't it says pig finet Yep. Um, and there's some dancing little veggies on it. It looks like it's going to be similar to the chicken one, like texture wise, but there are little green things in it. You think? Do you think there's going to be green things in it? Well, it has a picture of them on the front. Oh, this is candy. Yeah. Yeah. There's little peas in there. Ew. Gross. Hook it up. Thanks. Wait, you need a pea. Nah. <laughs> Just a little vegetable. I'm not a big pea fan. Luckily, peas are little. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it, Lee? Yeah. So these come in like a square, a stick, and a pea shape. It's a lot like the chicken one without the spice. Those are peas, huh? Yeah. Whoa. They just kind of taste like snack flavor. If that makes sense. It does. Um, I think it's funny that like, I feel like in the US, we don't have this though. Why not? This type of snack. Yeah. For a kid. Like if this, these look like kid snacks almost. Yeah. But we don't have anything that are like these in the US. Yeah. We just do chips. We have chips. Like Chex Mix. There's like bugles. They're kind of. Even then, like, I don't think a lot of kids get Chex Mix. We don't have a lot of shiny snacks. You're just going right into the next one. Not going to talk about it. I was just opening it. I wanted to look at it. Okay. Because I don't know what ha is. Yeah, the ingredients are just ha sugar. Um, ha. These are called ha flakes. They come in this cute little roll. Ha flakes. They're more than good. They look like. They're great. Um, what are those candies that are just like flat little colored discs i know what you're saying but i don't know what they are i can't smell anything from this can you <laughs> this is scentless i couldn't bite through it it's not the texture i expected it tastes like fruit leather is ha fruit i don't know let's look up what ha is Chinese sweet made with fruit or Chinese hawthorn. Hawthorn. I'm so bright. This is what hawthorn looks like. They look mm. like little cherry apples. They're cute. These are good. Yeah, I like those. This one has some flavor, huh? It makes sense why it tastes like fruit leather to me because like, you always have like apple in that. And they're kind of apple-y. Do you? Like apple juice. Apple juice? 
I've never had an apple chew. Apple juice. Apple juice. <laughs> we were talking about chews, though. I hate that you're chewing into the mic. It's so gross. Can you hear it? I know it will come through on the mic, but I can hear you chewing. It's pretty quiet in here. One more. Those are good. So which one's your favorite? The chews. The half flakes? The half flakes. I like the half flakes the best too. I like them because they got a big punch. Thank you, Natasha, for sponsoring this segment of our podcast. Thank you, Natasha. I don't know who you are, but thank you. She's Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana? Mm -hmm. The state? Thank you, Hannah Montana. There you go. Montana, Hannah. Okay, our next segment, we're going to do a little bit of life advice. Gosh, I have so many questions. For me? Yeah. I'm going to give you life advice on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our next segment is just James presenting any issue he has and me giving him life advice. I also asked our followers on Instagram and uh, they responded. But since we're just going to do James advice, I guess I'll just block everyone. Can I also say thank you, Natasha, for this? Lee didn't let me cook it. So I don't know why that was up to me. Test it. I said, go ahead and cook it. But then you're like, we need to do the podcast now. And I was like, I can't cook that fast. Why are you making me the bad guy? Make sure to follow us on Instagram. I'll cook that and we'll try it on the Instagram. Nice. It's a ramen if you can't see on the podcast or you're not looking at the video. But no, we're going to give you life advice. I'm super adept and qualified to give life advice. I have lived. I have lived a life worth living. Wow. Should I just do them at random? Just, yeah, riddle me one. I'm going to knock it out the park. Okay. Oh, gosh. How do I hint to my BF that special treatment during flow time would be nice without asking every time? What's flow time? I don't know. Special treatment during flow time? How do I hint to my BF that special treatment during flow time would be nice without asking every time? Flow time seems like downtime. I don't know, but here's what I would do. Okay. Um, No matter what, I would just uh, bring it up to him. No, No secret way. Just be, hey, this is what, how I feel. Here's what's going on. What can we do to help that? That's what I would do. Okay. But I'm also a big talker. You are. I can't talk anymore about it? You can. So do you think BF is boyfriend? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. If you have a question for your significant other, you should ask them. That's it. Okay. No games. Um, I don't think they're asking for a game, but... No, it's, it's it's not what that means. It's not like a game like Monopoly. I mean, if you're willing to ask every time, you could just ask once and be like a like a all all together question. Ask. You know what that means? I have <laughs> no idea what you just said to like me. Like they said they ask every time. But you could just ask once and be like, Hey, this is for every time. Every yeah. flow time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Does that make sense? I have no idea what you're saying to me. Okay. Hi, any advice for someone moving out soon and buying a house? Thanks. Love you guys. Mm, I'm not really qualified for this. Why not? I don't have a degree. But no, I can answer it. Talk to a realtor. That's your first step. (laughs) Ask them (laughs) for some advice. Um, I don't know. It just depends on the market though, because like, I feel like the market right now is crazy. It is. Um, you would almost, in my opinion, be better off renting for a year, depending on how things go. Mm -hmm. Because like if in a year from now, all the houses go way down and they might like, imagine if a house goes down $20,000, that's totally doable. I feel like the market right now is forcing people to buy the day they see the house 
Yeah. I've looked at a couple of houses with my mom and the tour guy was like, uh, you need to, if you want this, you have to stay today right now. And my mom was like, uh, nah. Yeah. Um, I think that that is scary and, and anxiety inducing. Yeah. So if you can wait it out at all, that would be ideal. Yeah. I also still stand by like, go talk to a realtor. They know what's up. Yeah. They know what the market's like. I mean, it might be different in other areas. So yeah. Cincinnati right now is like, things go on the market they're gone also find a, a realtor later. that you like yeah because oh. you're gonna be working with them and hanging out with them yeah don't get a scumbag oh uh, yeah we should have said that i did at the beginning you okay my voice is going away good um i hope that helps moving's hard moving is hard yeah mm-hmm. if you need help moving just let us know and we'll help james is really good at moving stuff i am good at moving stuff his arms are long enough to grab pretty much anything by himself yeah and my sheer determination i can pick up any object no matter the weight next i'm struggling with january blues and like can't find my feet in the new year thank you you're welcome that should be good then <laughs> no we have to help them do you want me to go to help them I can say something. What would you say? I would say make sure you get sunlight even if it's cold out. Okay. This is about finding their feet. They don't know where they're at. I know you know where your feet are. (laughs) That's a joke, Lee. Lee? Lee? (gasps) Are you going to help them or not? Yes. It's okay to not know where your feet are. As in knowing what's going on and just know that you will figure it out. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. Also, you should write down what you're trying to figure out and how to figure it out. Sometimes that what? makes it... What? What What are they trying to figure out? They just have January blues. Yeah, why? Write it down. And then you write down how to fix it. I like to write down grateful lists, so I'll write down 10 things I'm grateful for, and it brings a little light into my days. It's just like small things. Do small things for yourself. Yeah, treat yourself. Go on a self-date. Do you know what that is, Lee? No. Come on. You know what that is. I can't find my feet, James. Well, go on a date, and maybe they'll show up. They have the January blues. (laughs) <laughs> what why are you asking me that mm. you know what they said can i eat one of these i can't stand you right now <laughs> i won't eat one i'll wait God. we're not doing snacks on the podcast again oh come on well it's like it makes no sense to do it on a podcast because you can't see it <laughs> They have to come to YouTube. How to be more positive and do the goals I set for myself when I feel like poopy. My brain is shutting off. What I like to do is when I feel like I'm like, I don't want to do this. This sucks. Everything sucks. I think about what I get to do. I'm like, I get to go on a walk with my dog. I get to do this part of my job. I don't like because I like my job. I get to be in a warm house because I work and I do a good job and I can afford to pay my bills. You know? Mm. That helps me. Yeah. I do something similar. I think, gosh, it's nice. Uh, hands aren't chopped off. Mm-hmm. And then I... I get to have hands. Yeah. Um, I also just think this one doesn't work for everybody. I don't think it works for most people. That should be helpful then. This should help a lot. I just choose to not be (laughs) upset. He does do that. Yeah, I choose to be happy. It doesn't work for me. No, it doesn't work for everybody, but I think... Can you name one other person that it works for besides your mother? No. (laughs) Okay. But it could help. I don't think it just works, but I think it can put you 
<laughs> it sometimes makes you more upset because you're like, why am, am the, why is this not working? Why can't I be happy? No, it is working. How is it working? I'm being happy. You can't let that part happen. Yeah, just don't let that part happen and you should be good. This person also wants to do the goals they set for themselves when they feel like poopy. Okay, just choose a smarter or smarter. Be smarter. No. Uh, maybe try that. I was I meant smaller part of the goal. Smaller goals. Yeah, just yeah. break it down even one more step. Small to do list. Just say you're taking a break because you need to re-energize for your goal. Yeah. That's you still have, working on it. You have a lot of time. It doesn't have to be quick. Mm -hmm. You can do little parts and those need to be celebrated as big as much as the big parts. So if you're not doing something, just trick yourself into saying, nah, I am. I'm taking a rest day. Right. And your goals just, I don't know what your goals are, but goals are slow. Yeah. 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 I think I still have a little bit of a foggy brain. I think you're on caffeine with a foggy brain. I get obsessed with boys who don't want me and fully uninterested with the ones who do help. That's a tough one. What are you looking for in the boys that don't want you? That's what I want to know. I also think there's what is this, it about him? There's this thing the brain does where... Proving yourself? No. You just want what you can't have. That's what your brain wants. I can prove that I can have that. What? Like, is that it? You no, because then yourself. once you get the person, sometimes they're like, actually, no. Yeah, it wasn't as good as I thought. Yeah, or like you're, I don't know, like some people like the pursuit of a relationship. A challenge. Yeah. I the mean, person, go ahead. You kind of have to choose. Like you have to be like, all right. I'm going to give this person who wants me a chance. I'm going to decide to do this and just give it a shot. Yeah. Um, also, the people that don't... what How was it phrased? I get obsessed with boys who don't want me and fully uninterested with the ones who do help. Right. The person that doesn't want you, don't talk to them. Life hack. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> This is um, what the whole life advice section was for, life hacks. Nice. Well, if a boy doesn't talk to you, don't talk to him. They don't appreciate your time. And, God, I wish I could think better right now. Uh, I'm usually better at this. Hit it, Lee. <laughs> I'll try and go off what you said. The people who aren't giving you the time of day are lowering your own self-value because they're not valuing you and you're like, I'm going to make them value me. But there's other people who do already value you for who you are. So think about it that way. Think about it more as like a self thing than like, I want this thing I can't have. Think about it as like, is this person valuing me? Am I important to them? Yeah. Am I working to prove myself that I'm valuable? Oh, or, that was deep. or am I just playing around? You yeah. Know? Okay, I also thought of something to say. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> you don't have to end up with either of the boys, the boy who likes you but you're not interested in or the person who doesn't like you that you're interested in. You want both. You want both those traits. So if that's not happening, those aren't the boys for you. What traits do they want? Them to like you and you to like them. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to date somebody who doesn't, you don't have to pursue somebody who doesn't want to date you and you don't have to date somebody who likes you. Do you think it will line up sometime? It will. It will line up sometime. I think so too. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So if these the per people just aren't right. Yeah. 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 If somebody doesn't like you back, you can't change that. They might be speaking in general, but yeah. there might be some magic thing where it works out. There is. Maybe believe in magic life hack. I believe in magic. In no. a young girl's heart. 
Why? How to deal with snooty micromanaging coworker who isn't even my manager. My my life advice is too forward sometimes. Sometimes. Guess what it's going to be. Don't let it bother you. No. <laughs> Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> hey, you're micromanaging me. Super snooty, yucky. You're my coworker, not but my so, manager. So, so there's ways to do it, though, that are nice. Like, hey, I appreciate you looking out for me and trying to make sure we're all doing the right thing. But sometimes it just feels like you're micromanaging me and it makes me unmotivated to work even more. So please stop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Most issues are like a communication boundary where you're like, I just don't so want to do does, this. Does that person know you feel that way? And then because if they don't, that's not fair to think anything any way towards them. They don't even know. How are they to treat you any different if you can't tell them how you feel? But oh wait 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 wait, micromanage them back. <laughs> Passive aggressive. That's another lane to take. What do you think about that one, Lee? That's good advice. Hit them. <laughs> how to take restful breaks? Whenever I take breaks from working on something, I spend my break th- time thinking about all the things I could slash should be doing, so I don't actually rest. Crying. I have an idea. Okay. Rest is the thing that you're doing. Yeah, put rest on your to-do list. Yeah. I don't think that will work, though. It wouldn't work for me. It would work for me. I feel this way. When you rest? Mm Mm-hmm. You barely work. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) What what, what do you do then? I haven't figured it out yet. Did you try what I just said? What did you say? That I barely work? I said that, too. But I also said... Rest is work. That doesn't work for Rest me. Rest is the thing you have to do. It literally doesn't work for me. Why? Because I don't believe it. You have to believe it. Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, I don't. Can something... I get more advice? Yeah, it is something that you have to do. Am I wrong? Mm-hmm. How? How am I wrong? I don't believe you. That's why you're wrong. That No, that doesn't make me wrong. That just makes you not believe me. You're getting kind of heated. I'm not getting heated. Well, you have to figure that out. Also, sometimes just because you can't think of it and have it work doesn't mean that's not the answer either. So it takes practice. You have to just make a rule that you have to lay there and do nothing. Or are you too weak? I'm too weak. No, I was challenging you. When has a challenge ever worked against me? When uh, you climb sometimes. Well, hey, I was. I still want to say... If you struggle to rest, you just have to practice. Everything takes practice. What do you think about that? Do you have an opinion on that? No. Dealing with being surrounded by amazing people, but feeling alone and just tired. The way it's typed is make me think that the person writing it doesn't think that they're amazing too. Feeling alone and tired. What do I do? I usually just hang out with the people that i don't feel alone with Mm -hmm. there are certain groups where i'm like "Ugh, this is a lot of work i feel like a little out of place it's just extending a lot of energy but if you have someone where you hang out with them and you're like i don't have to expend a lot of energy to be with this person that's where i feel less alone and less tired because i'm not trying to be social and be involved in the conversation Hmm. like when i'm with james i can just check out hmm um, but with like our whole group of friends, like I have to be on. Sometimes I also think it's weird. It's just because of my personality type. But when somebody is in a group, like you're in a group of people and you still feel alone. That I get, but also I don't think I feel alone just because I feel fine being alone do you know what i mean no like they feel alone even when in a group of people right but i think that's also a sign to work on i don't feel alone when i'm alone does that make any sense no doesn't no really when do you feel alone then i I don't ever (laughs) i know that there's so like look 
I do you think alone is bad? No. Okay. Being alone is not bad. I think feeling alone can be bad. Okay. Like feeling like you are, you are on your own can feel bad. But like even when I'm alone, I know I have people. They don't have to be nearby. Okay. So even if I'm I'm in a group of people who I don't really like to hang out with, I don't feel alone. So that might be something to figure out. I see. Do you see what I'm saying now? Mm -hmm. That's why I'd never feel alone. That's weird. I never feel like I'm alone. Um, I, I felt like I'm alone, like in my work. Cause I am like, no one can actually help me with some things. Yeah. I felt alone in groups of people. Hmm. I'm not saying you can't. Well, I do. So. I just think it's good for people. I'm not sure people do it often. I don't really do it often, but to work on a strong self-worth, you know? Mm-hmm. Self-esteem. Yeah. Confidence. Yeah. It would make you feel less alone. Even navigating. Even around people. Navigating your priorities. Yeah. Because like if I'm in a group of people that I don't really care to be around, like who cares if to be around them then? It mm-hmm. doesn't make me feel lo- more lonely. Even if, like, I could be in a room full of amazing people. Yeah, so I guess it's a confidence thing. Mm-hmm. So how do we fix that? Hmm, confidence building. I have one, but it's not very good. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't, ever, I don't even do this, but I think... Uh, this is going to sound so stupid. I think... I don't want to say it. I'm going to say it. You should go play basketball. (laughs) When you make a hoop, it feels good. Do you know what I'm talking about? (laughs) It'll build your confidence. I mean, (laughs) you could do anything where you're like, I am capable of doing this and I'm proud of myself when I do it. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be basketball, but it could be basketball yeah like a good swish yeah where i don't walk out of basketball (laughs) feeling very confident i do i walk out having had some fun um well and also whenever i play basketball sorry whenever i play basketball i make sure to end on a good shot so you walk out of there feeling really good okay i haven't done this in years but i remember the feeling it's paid off though obviously yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i still get the i still get the feeling right now great (laughs) Um, confidence building, uh, it's just important to notice the little things about yourself where you're like, I'm good at this or I'm improving on this or I work really hard or whatever. Yeah. I, man, I wish I could explain to people how to have such high self-worth. Yeah. You think you're great. I think I'm great, but I don't think I'm better than other people. Yeah. I'm, I know I'm not better right. than most people at most things, <laughs> but I feel really good about who I am. Mm-hmm. I wish I could tell people how to do that. I think I've tricked myself into it. I think so too. Because that's the thing. Whenever I explain it to people. I think you did it by celebrating little victories and then that combines into this big thing of like i can probably do anything i definitely think I can you're do like anything. basing it on the knowledge of like this little victory this little victory this little victory if i can do this if i can psh, do these things i can do that i think i'm set i yeah i also understand if i can't james does like celebratory stuff for little things like the snacks like he's celebrating he's happy like, he acknowledges that he's excited and the food's good. And he's like, this is going to be good, even if it's not. Yeah. It's the same thing with being a person. Yeah. there's a There was a not nice thing on Instagram. It was like a post or a reel or something. And I do agree with it. I've mentioned it before, but it's not nice to say. It works for some... Like, you have to choose to be happy. The same way some people unknowingly choose to be sad. Mm -hmm. and choose to be upset Mm -hmm. and i know there's other things in life that will make you upset and depression and all these things but even for me i say no 
I tell it no. <laughs> if I feel a certain way, I literally feel like I tell it no. It's okay if you can't tell it no. And it leaves. Correct. It is. I'm just saying what I do. So you have this cool thing where your processing is so fast. Where something bad happens, he feels a tinge of I'm upset, and he's like, no, I'm not. Yeah. There are bigger fish to fry. I have hands. We are all good. Yeah. Where it just takes me a little longer to get there. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the upset feeling for a while. And it's important to feel your feelings. You can't just be like, I'm sad because of this reason. Yeah. And then you're like, no, I'm not. Yeah. And I don't think I'm repressing them. Right. They're, they're just kicked out. And like, still, like, don't kick out your feelings. It's okay to not be happy all the time. Yeah. But I still, I know what you're saying. Lee. <laughs> And I know my my method doesn't work for everybody. Like James is talking like the ideal is constant happiness. Yeah, I like happy. I think everyone likes happy. And I feel like society has built everyone to be like, your ideal is happy. If you're not here, you're a failure. Well, even when I feel sad, it's nice. There we go. Yeah. Like, I think, oh, this is nice. Sometimes it's just important to be able to cope with your processing time of your emotions and be like, I'm upset. I know it's going to take me at least an hour mm -hmm. to not be upset. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try not to ruin someone else's day or do something bad mm -hmm. or whatever the heck you do when you're upset. Like just being self-aware rather than like James is self-aware that he can say yeah. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm upset. No. Yeah. I just also see a lot of people who accept it. Mm-hmm. Who like bathe in it. Yeah. Which yeah. if that's what you want to do. Or they try to pass it off. Like I'm upset. Here you try it. Ew. Yeah. No. What's that about? So uh, do you think we answered the question? I think we did basketball. <laughs> yeah. Try basketball. And if you don't like it, say no. Yeah. Also, you'll make new friends playing basketball. This was the person with the amazing people in the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe get different amazing people who are really good at basketball. Become an athlete. We're going to close out our life advice section with that long monologue James had and I added to. Um, thank you for coming. I hope that maybe it gave you some fresh perspective on something. I feel better. Just so everybody knows, I have been upset. Okay. Thanks for clearing that up. I'm trying us. to relate to the other humans. Yeah, good job. Do you think I'm a robot? Sometimes. Do you think I have a mental disorder? <laughs> no. No? I Maybe ADHD. That's it? Here's a theory. Do you think you get upset and then you get distracted? <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. Okay. Do you know how I'm sure? No. Because I know how I process it okay it's not forgetting because okay let me just i'm i'm done after this <laughs> look when a lot of bad things happen in your life it makes all the other bad things for me not matter at all mm -hmm. like who cares like every time i've had like i've been in a car accident i'm like who cares i'm fine they're fine moving on and one of them was my favorite car ever that was so sad and i'm just like well it at least more i got to me. drive the car you know i get to drive that car yeah i was the one really that got to drive it full circle here why why because we talked about saying i get to yeah i got beginning. i was the one who got to work on the car it was my car super cool i got to drive it i win I was the last one to drive it, suckers. Yeah. <laughs> but I, wait, why was I saying this? Oh, because bad things happen. And then it's your, God, I say something. I'm not saying this is insensitive. But it's then your choice to do what you want with that experience. Yeah. And I choose to put it in the bank for a bad day. So if I'm having a bad day, I open up the nasty vault and I'm like, ugh, that's terrible. Good thing that's not today. 
And then I move on. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. Some people choose to just leave their nasty vault open all the time. Ugh. And I think that's the difference. I like to look at it from time to time. Yeah. That'll make you feel better. Mm -hmm. See, but then also you could look at that same nasty vault and be like, God, my life sucks. Mm -hmm. Or you could be like, I really made it through that and there's better things yeah, coming. That part of my life sucked. Be like, we're not there anymore. This contrast is amazing. Yeah. That was really bad. And this is just good, but it seems really good. Yeah. 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 Does that make it sound better? Um, yeah. I think that could apply to any time frame of po uh, processing emotions. I also think you can get better at processing emotions. Or like emotions. maybe you can't find the box immediately where you like yeah. have it right in your hand already. Yeah, yeah. Where you're like, well, where did I put that bad thing that happened to me? Yeah. <laughs> Is your brain organized? To, an, to a degree, yeah. That's great. What are you grateful for? What am I grateful for? Let me tell you, um, I'm not really big on drugs, but I am thankful for Tylenol because <laughs> I had a fever for two or three days and the relief I would get from Tylenol was very nice, but I'm just not a big take medicine fan, so... Thank you, modern medicine. Okay. Your turn. I'm grateful for shoes. Oh. What yeah. kind? What's your favorite kind of shoe? Right now I'm into Converse. Wow, right now? Mm-hmm. I don't have shoes on right now. Neither do you. Well, I didn't say shoes. <laughs> you want to look at my socks? These ones? Are there socks in there? No. <laughs> the socks on your feet? Mm hmm No. Okay, is it my turn to be thankful again? Mm -hmm. I am James Heishman, and I am so thankful for... I am so thankful for... Oh, can I be thankful for my mindset? I am thankful for my mindset. It also has screwed me over, though. It's made me work too much before. Because my brain says, you're fine, dude. Keep on keeping on. And I'm like, yep, we're fine. And then I'm exhausted forever. So be careful. A very positive mindset could also come to bite you. I put Your turn. I put rest on my grateful list because <sighs> it's helped you get better and helped me get better. There's no better medicine than rest. Except for Tylenol. Or like insulin if you have diabetes right right rest doesn't fix it pick your poison poison i'm gonna go for what i'm thankful for did i already do two mm -hmm. and you've done two two did i start my third and final thing that i am grateful for i haven't looked at the camera much this time i looked at you I a feel lot like you've been looking i've just at been me. looking at you a lot <laughs> i don't know why this is not normal okay Usually well, you just read my notes the whole time. Well, usually I look at the camera a bunch. I think it's because the mirror's moved. <laughs> but anyway, I am <clears throat> super grateful for... Uh, oh, I am super grateful for Lee's car. It has heated seats, so that's nice. It's been zero outside for the last month and her car also helped me try to start my big bad work truck because it wouldn't start because it's cold and it's a big diesel truck and it still didn't start but her car was able to help me try to start my car and then also her car's just so cool so like whenever we're just cruising around the town trying to like race people we look cool when we do it Leave it in the comments below if you know what kind of car Lee has. We didn't ask for any comments. I know. Well, just do your grateful and then I'll ask you. A, I'm going to think of a really good question and I'm going to ask you about it. Great. My last grateful thing is tea and water. I like tea and water. That's what I like to drink the most. That's it. 
Oh, that was too fast. <laughs> I have to think of a question. Okay. What is your f- least favorite music genre? Screamo. Screamo? That's not correct. You know what's funny? What? Just the word screamo. They just added an O on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's not your least favorite. What is? In my opinion. Uh, EDM. Uh, yeah. EDM. That's mine. Oh, that or whatever the they one? play at the gym that one time. Yeah. Like ska. I oh. don't think it was ska, but it's something. Yeah, I remember. It would yeah. add ska vibes. It was so bad. I'm not even really sure what ska is. Do you know? I can't really describe it. Leave it in the comments below. Your if favorite. You can describe ska. Yeah, a description of ska. <laughs> And then also your favorite music genre. What is your favorite music genre? Um, Ours might be the same right now. Alternative R&B? Yeah, I would just say like mine would almost be like indie R&B. So almost the same thing? Yeah. I really like that kind of stuff. That's great. I also like... um, Mm. I spilled water on myself. I also like... I like covers of songs for some reason. James likes covers of songs that he doesn't even know are covers. Yeah. Remember that one time there was a Ed Sheeran song that was covered and I didn't even know it was Ed Sheeran. (laughs) What? Yeah, it was, I played it in the car and you knew all the words, I think. And I was like, how do you know these words? And you're like, it's an Ed Sheeran song. Was, was it like, Shape of You? Yeah. That that like pop punk yeah. version? Yeah. And I didn't know it was an Ed Sheeran song. I thought it was just a song. <laughs> and the Back to Black by Benny. Oh, that's so good, though. Back to Black. Mm. Benny covered it. Yeah. And he didn't know for months. Loved yeah. the song. Yeah. Good song. Anyways, it's hard um, when you're this uncultured. Leave us a five star review on Apple Podcasts. Can you say that nicer, like more extravagant? Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. You know what would be a cherry on top of you listening to this whole podcast? Would be a five star review on Apple Podcasts. Stars are sick, and so are we. Not in an ill way, but in a cool way. Um, feel free to write us something really nice or really mean, with a five-star rating. We love you all. We are happy to have you. Can I say something now? Yeah. Thank you, all you beautiful, 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 beautiful people for liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a good comment down below. Um, Once we hit a thousand comments we're gonna have a pizza party okay me and lee are going to a tavola without you guys sorry but i know i know it's not easy to watch these podcasts because they're terrible so we do appreciate it when you guys do watch it is very generous yes to allot your time to us is a blessing uncountable by the angels above and i just Let want all you to your know, sins be banished yes, by your generosity child. today um i appreciate you know just everything and that's all we have time for today <laughs> we're on a time crunch i like when you call them child yeah that well, was that, nice it, it feels like a church thing Are you shaking? No. (laughs) I have to eat more. Bye. Wait. I I don't want to say goodbye. (laughs) To your church. Are you kidding me? (laughs) Okay. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. I'll just end it like this. The camera turned off. Yeah. See ya. Bye.